Okay, I am back with another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to make a dartboard. I want to see if I can't try to make it look like it's exploding. So I've already pre-cut all my wood and I already drew out my lines on what I'm going to do. And so in this step, I'm just going to take some glue, glitter glue, and hopefully this works um, and outline it. Oh, maybe. Okay, it's already open. So, I thought this color was really pretty. Um, I don't know where it came from, but I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna follow my uh, pencil marks. So, I'm going to outline this, and uh, when I'm done outlining it, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. So, I had to put the board on the Lazy Susan because it was uh, easier to turn instead of having to pick it up and turn it and turn it and turn it. Um, so, I went ahead and I marked the colors. So, I'm going to use black. I'm going to use uh, this sparkly purple. Uh, Carabine blue, king's gold, and then over the top of everything when I'm done painting, I'm going to put some twinkles on it. So this is my dartboard. This is how I want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the twinkly purple color. And uh, I have some extra lids here that I have no use for except to put paint in it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to paint all my purple ones, which I need a bigger brush. Let's see. That might be too big. What about this one? That looks about right. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it. And, oh, and I also let the glue dry for a little bit too. So, and actually, Putting this in pencil and marking it, you're going to cover it up with the paint, so you'll be okay in that area. And of course, I'll probably go over it again with a second coat and um, get my purple down there. So I want it sparkly. And then, of course, purple here. And I'm going to just skip every other one until I got my purple covered. So, when I am done with this color, I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, see you in a minute. Okay, so I got my first coat on. And now I'm going to add the second coat, or another coat, which I'm going to be using black. Um, am I using black? Yes, I'm using black. And um, just kind of, it's a brand new black, I didn't open it. But um, we'll just see what that looks like and then go from there. All right, let's see if I can even get this open. And this is, um, I don't know, this is just an idea I thought of, and it's no rhyme or reason to it, but I hadn't seen anything on YouTube, so I just thought of this idea, and I was like, well, okay. I hadn't seen anybody do any of this yet, so I just said that I would do it. Hopefully, it comes out really good. Can't be for sure until I'm done. There we go. Get that out of the way. 
Got my other lid. Paint it black. That looks good. We'll soon find out if it is or not. And I'm painting from inside to outside. So that way I don't get it near as much paint on myself. And yeah, I can see already that I'll be doing a couple coats on this. And uh, just kind of take it from there. And when I'm done with this, I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm going to go ahead and put King's Gold in the next one. And we'll see what that looks like. And go from there. And a different brush. And here we go. Let's see how lovely this is going to come out. Oh, yes. That really made that pop. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this on, wait for the rest of it to dry. I'm going to put a second coat on. Then as soon as I'm done with the second coat, I'll be back and show you what I'm going to do next. All right. It'll take me some time to do this, but you'll be back in a minute watching this. And don't forget, if you do like my videos, please subscribe, ring the bell, like, share, um, however you want to do it, which I prefer to you like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. That would be great. Um, I would definitely appreciate that. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I'm done painting my dartboard. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Right now, I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can put um, this uh, twinkles on it. But I have to wait for this part to dry first before I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do another step real quick. So I found out that I do like Ziploc bags. I think everybody does. So what I do is I just get these um, freezer bags that have this part on it, not the zipper part, because if you're trying to do something and seal it back up, you can't. So, and this rip so easy. I just take the sides, I rip it out, and then take my scissors. And, oh, yeah, I learned about the crease. So you want to make sure you don't put your resin on the crease either, because that's going to mess up everything you try to do, because... You did want to me. It messed it up. So I was not happy about that. But I have another piece for later. So you'll be able to tell which side what because you can feel that. But I'll go ahead and use this side on this, this one anyways. Put that off to the side for my next project. So what I'm going to do is for my dartboard, I am going to make my glass shards. And definitely make that a zero. There we go. Zero. And I don't need a lot. So this is one in one. And um I'm going to make a little bit more for something else since I'm already pouring. I think probably just for the shards alone, you probably only need um, 0.5 and 0.5, one whole ounce, and uh, just to make them. But I'm going a little bit more because I'm doing something else on the side over here. And wait until y'all see my next project after this one. I'm excited to do it. It should be interesting and fun. And um, you're just going to have to stay tuned to see what comes next. Okay, there we go. And uh, of course, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stir it a good three minutes until all the bubbles are out. And uh, make sure it's nice and clear. So that way it mixes well and you don't get any uh, tacky um, resin residue left. Otherwise, it, it's just not going to work because I've done it a couple of times already. And you have to definitely make sure you get the sides and the bottom. And make sure you have the correct ratios too. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And uh, so, so before I like to go back and forth, like pretend the circle's a square. And just go from side to side, around the sides, and the bottom. Because you don't want any of that. You don't want any streaks at all. And, okay. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, I think I'm streak free. All 
All right, now what the idea I have in my mind for this project, I'm gonna pour it in here. So I think I'm gonna try to wrap a dart or the dart. I'm gonna have to go get that here in a little bit to show you what I'm talking about. I don't have a lot in here, maybe I need more. I don't want too much, but I want it to still be thin because I'm gonna come in and basically break it up. And so I'm gonna take the purple that I've been using and this glitter purple, I think that's what I want for what I'm trying to do. And I'm just gonna mix this up. You really don't need a lot of it. See how that looks? I don't know if you can really tell or not. And then I'm gonna take a couple drops of this uh, uh, purple iris and uh, kind of see what comes out of it. I'm gonna do one tiny little drop just to darken it up. There we go. That's kind of cool. That's a really pretty purple. And sparkles, of course, can't forget the sparkles. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take, I do want a circle. I don't know how far that's going to spread, but I do want it thin enough. That way, what I'm thinking doesn't work. I can still do other things. I'll make sure this is nice and, um, like, about maybe seven hours. Kind of cut it up, make some shards out of it. Except the, the whole point is try to make the um, dart board look like it's, like, exploding when the dart hits it. And hopefully I can get that effect. So just like I said, I've never done this before. Never even made a dart board before but this is why I call it the resin experiment. It's just to experiment and see what things I can really do. What is a good idea? What is a bad idea? I could sit and watch probably YouTube all day long, but if I don't do it, I'm never gonna know how to. I'm not gonna get that personal experience. So I don't want it to be perfect by any means. Art is not perfect, so I'm gonna give that splashing effect. Ooh, what did I have in there? Don't want that. Okay. So just try to make it as thin as I can. All these other pieces because it's gonna what kind of like the dartboard is made out of glass or something and and just like i said lazy susan it's a very good idea if you have one and you're not using it it's perfect for stuff like this um, and you can see in my other previous videos I've, I've been using it quite a bit and there we go so we can mix some of this so that is it for now and i'm gonna put this off to the side let it dry come back in a little bit i need to finish my dartboard yet and um go from there all right see you in a minute okay I'm back. It is dry now. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the Twinkles uh, litter on. Oops. And hopefully that's enough. Glitter it up. Oh, nice. I like glitter. I'm thinking, I wonder if I should glitter the edges. Yeah, I think I should. I think it would look really good like that. This is really kind of thick glitter I'm putting on. But I like it. I 
not anymore. Oops. Okay. I don't know what it's going to look like just yet, but I think it's going to come out looking really awesome. And then the next is we're going to do some stenciling. So I'm going to finish this up. And when I come back, this will be dry. And we will start stenciling the numbers on it because it is a dartboard. So I want to try to get as much similar. I guess kind of style of a dartboard I can get. I mean, these are not like the normal colors for a dartboard or anything, but this is my project. So you could do it any way you want if you like this project. Um, any colors you want. And if you do do it, uh, send me some pictures. I'd like to see what you did. I mean, in all my other videos too, if you do the stuff that I'm doing, send me pictures. I would love to see it. Um, I'm no perfectionist, but I like to see other things too. And I need a little bit more. This is definitely thick stuff right here. So I'm going to finish this and I will be back. Okay, so the stencil that I was showing you earlier was, it's not going to work, but I have to paint the numbers on here. So I kind of want it to look like a dartboard. So I'm going to do this by hand. Probably not going to be the best in the world. I don't have very good handwriting, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll paint this and uh, hopefully this comes out decent. And uh, we'll go from there. So, this is going to take me some time, and I'm not going to keep the video going while you watch me paint numbers. So, I will come back when I'm done painting my numbers. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back and the numbers are done. Everything's painted. Um, even this is done. So I've already peeled it off the, the Ziploc bag. And this is what I'm going to do. So, hence, start board. I got a dart, it's a half a dart. And what I'm going to do is that big piece, I'm going to put it around this dart and kind of work it a little bit because it's so flexible right now. And um, so I'm going to take this rubber band. I'll take the little one that I have. This little rubber band. I'm just gonna rubber band around this and hopefully this works. I don't know if it's gonna work, just like I said before. I have no idea. But we are definitely gonna find out. And I don't know if that's really gonna work or not. I need, ha, huh. I have an idea. In my handy dandy toolbox, I have one of these things. So, I'm just gonna clamp it together like that. And, oops. That's okay. 
I'm not done just yet, but we're going to have a dart exploding out of this board. So I'm going to let that set and I'm going to pour resin on this dart board and just to show you how thin it is right now, I can cut can cut it and as that gets done put these pieces around and there we go so um, I'll be back I'm gonna mix some resin and uh, I'm gonna pour it on here and we'll see what happens all right okay I'm back here's my resin it is exactly one ounce according to the scale and so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up and then I'm gonna pour it on my board and hopefully one ounce is enough because I mean I don't want it to be like super thick or anything but I want it thick enough to at least cover the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and when I'm done I'll be back. Okay well my resin is done. I've mixed it. It's clear. It does have a lot of bubbles in it though. Um, it is kind of cold here and one of the things you could do is actually give it a warm bath before pouring your resin. Um, I didn't do that. I try to keep my room as warm as possible but I turned off the heater last night because it got way too hot. The weather is changing a little too fast. So I am going to go ahead and put that there and slowly pour and all the way around the board and hopefully one ounce is enough to cover this 11 it's about 11 and a half inch board um, I cut it myself so it's definitely not perfect but what art is perfect um, my interpretation of a dartboard. <laughs> so if I do need more, I can always mix more. I just didn't want to mix a whole lot and then be stuck with extra resin on top of it. So I don't like to waste resin. So I'm just going to kind of guide it to the edges much as I can. Actually, I might need more resin. I just want it to go to the edge. That's all I want it to do. And this is basically how I'm doing it. And then when this dries and the other thing finally molds to what I want. I'll be back and show you the rest of my project. All right, thank you. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, I actually super glued this stuff down and this is what it looks like standing up. Oops, turn it that away. And there you go. It looks kind of cool if you ask me. So I'm gonna hang this up on the wall and uh, show you guys what it looks like on the wall. I'll be back in a minute. 